So there was a good viewer question about uh, emergency stop. I wanted to know if I was considering implementing one. But I, I thought that it, it already had an emergency stop via this button. But to be honest, I'd never really tested it. So I think that's what we do. Normally when, you, when you're not running and you just stop it like this, it takes a little while to shut down because the only power being consumed is the power of the controller. And uh, obviously the big capacitors in here take a little while to discharge. But if the, uh, if the chuck is spinning, um, then the motor is generating a load, so the voltage should drop. So either the ESC is going to cut out and hopefully put on the brake, or the software is going to detect the low voltage and put on the brake. Either way, hopefully this will stop pretty quickly. So let's take a look at that. Let's go as fast as we can. Here we go. Three, two, one. And there you have it. Looks like the ESC is applying uh, the brake first. I don't think that that speed of stop uh, is indicative of a free spin and stop because this is much much looser than that, and be plenty of uh, plenty of momentum built up with those big steel gears. So yeah, it appears that the ESC is putting on the brake before my emergency stop kicks in from the controller. So. That's probably uh, because of the voltage setting of the ESC. The low voltage setting is set pretty high at around about 23 volts. So it probably detects that and goes into a shutdown state, which includes putting on the brake. Now, obviously, if I lowered the voltage uh, detection for the ESC to say seven volts or something like that, I think you can do that. Then in that case, what's gonna happen is the controller will be able to detect the, the voltage dropping. And depending on how you set it, it will as quickly as it detects it, uh, tell the EC to, to stop or to break. And that should cause it to stop pretty quickly for as long as there's enough voltage. But as we can see there, uh, that appears to be working quite well. Let's try it also with a uh, high gear. Let's try this too. High gear? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely putting on a brake. So it's pretty quick. Uh, I think I think it's doing what it needs to do and I, I don't think I'm going to change anything. Obviously, uh, if the ESC wasn't putting on the brake, um, then I would probably go ahead and make sure that the, uh, the low voltage detection was quick enough to shut it down. But either way, I think it's going to be fine and I, I think I'll just leave it as it is. So it's a good question. And uh, to be honest, I hadn't tested it, so I was quite happy to do the test. And there you have it. So I, I hope that answers the question. So I'm currently working uh, on the ESC video which I've been talking about and I'm getting ahead, getting along with making some progress with that but it's taking a little bit of time so uh, hopefully that'll be out soon. So in any case, uh, that's it for now and I'll see you next time. See ya!